whenever you're working with a new client or someone contacts you about a website, before you start rushing into, well, this is what we're going to do for you and this is how much it will cost and how long it will take, Maybe take a step back and think about what is the point of their business and do they even need a website? In fact, if you're not even working with a client, but this is just for you, this is your website you're building, do you really need a website? And what I mean by that is who is your ideal client? Are your clients going to come to a website? Is that the sort of thing they would do for that form of service? And if they do, try to understand what are the questions they're going to be asking. Because if you don't understand your business or why anyone would want to come to a website to purchase from your business or to get a product or a service or something, the basis of the challenge is that you've got to think deep about your business. Are you an architect? What kind of architect? Modern, contemporary, eclectic? What are you? What is the problem you're solving? So if I want an extension or a design doing, I might look at 10 different architects on Google. I'll open 10 tabs. Which tab am I going to stay on? And the thing that might make me stay is what are you saying in your headline? What are you saying that's going to draw me in? If the look of your website or the statements you're making don't kind of connect with me. For instance, if you say, hey, I'm an architect, that's a bit bland. I'm a contemporary architect. Well, maybe now you've got a bit of my attention. So if you understand your ideal client, the niche area you're trying to serve, it's going to help you with regards to all the other items that we've got in this five-day challenge. And by the way, though, you, I do recommend you stick to the order how we do it. Because the point of the five-day challenge is that when you are approached by a client or you're approaching someone, if you start to ask them these questions, they might sit up and take notice and think, hang on. This person cares. They're not just saying, yeah, we're going to build a website for you. They are actually wanting to spend the time to understand what is your business? What is the point of it? Who is your ideal client? Will they come to a website? What are you trying to achieve from that website? Are you selling a product? Are you advertising a service? Do you want them to fill out a contact form or get a quote? What are you trying to reach? And when the client or even yourself starts to answer those questions, you're going to better understand what you do next with the next four items below. I hope that helps.